Hey gorgeous, it's Curleen. Thank you for tuning back into my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing some of my favorite vanilla fragrances at the moment. These are the ones that I have been gravitating towards a lot lately. And I'll share a little bit about which ones I would recommend in just a moment. But if you're interested in seeing what fragrances I'm talking about, then please keep watching. Hey friend, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I'm always excited to get to hang out with you and talk fragrances. For those of you who are new over here, you've just stumbled across my channel. On this channel, I make videos on lifestyle, luxury. I do review videos to include lots of fragrance talk. And I also sprinkle in a little bit of my motherhood journey and my personal life in my monthly vlogs. So if any of those things interest you, then please go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I would love to have you here. And also be sure to turn on that notification bell so you know exactly when my videos drop. All right, let's get into it. The first fragrance I have here is one that I have not been able to get enough of ever since I purchased it. So the first fragrance is Maison Mataha's Escapade Gourmand. This is a fragrance that is more like a staple. It's a staple vanilla fragrance, albeit a very bougie staple fragrance. <laughs> this is amazing for just an everyday easy grab vanilla scent or to layer with any fragrance in your collection. Like I can layer this with literally anything. So this is like your fluffy creme brulee, fluffy custard vanilla scent. What I love about this fragrance is it is fluffy. It is very creamy, it's very sweet, but it's not dense. It's a very sweet, creamy, fluffy, decadent smelling scent that is not dense or heavy or cloying or weighty and I think this makes this one good for anyone's perfume collection. This is a true vanilla so if you don't like vanillas then you're probably not going to like this but I would say this would probably be okay in someone's collection that's not like the biggest fan of vanilla but just wants a vanilla to layer here and there and someone that just wants like one staple vanilla in their collection. That's where Escapade Gourmand would fit for that type of person but if you're a vanilla girly if your budget will allow this is a must-have in my opinion. It's it's really good. It's so good that I had to get a backup. As you all know, this is now back in stock on a lot of different sites. So now's the time. If you were trying to get your hands on it and couldn't, now's the time. I will link it below. And also, if you just want to make sure that you have it in case it sells out again, this is the time. So yes, I did get a backup. <laughs> this is Escapade Gourmand by Maison Mataha. The next vanilla is one that I received as a gift recently from Hubby. And this is Mind Games Queening. Queening is quite a unique and interesting vanilla. It's a very soft, slightly floral, slightly electronic fragrance. It has an orris, which gives it this buttery texture and quality and feel. And it is quite a sophisticated, feminine, and as one of you stated in my comments when I last talked about this, ethereal fragrance. It's called queening and it is such a regal smelling scent. If I were to imagine what a regal smelling scent would smell like, which is something ethereal, something feminine, something light, something sophisticated, very approachable, I would imagine queening. Queening is the scent that you wear when you want to feel feminine, sophisticated, ultra classy, when you want to feel like royalty, but also want to feel approachable. That's what queening is to me. Um, I feel like the auras and the coconut milk in here are what makes this fragrance so unique because it has this edible quality to it, yet it's still perfumey. Yeah, this one is just beautiful just beautiful this might be my scent of the day i have not sprayed perfume on yet but this might be my scent of the day because i'm literally obsessed so i would say if you have never checked out mind games go and give them a sniff specifically this one the other one i really really loved when i smelled it was sissa and sissa comes in the darker like black bottles sissa is Sissa's is just an amazing scent. It's more of a gourmand, but it's so good. It's so good. So that might be the next one I pick up from Mind Games, but if you're looking for a unique, a feminine, a very soft, sophisticated vanilla fragrance, check this one out. This is Queening 
by Mind Games. The next vanilla that I've been absolutely obsessed with, I mean obsessed with, is MFK's Grand Soir. I wore Grand Soir to bed last night and just got all of my cozy luxe vanilla vibes. It is just such a beautiful fragrance. This is a unisex fragrance that when you first spray it on first blast, it smells more masculine, but let it dry down and it turns into a truly, truly unisex fragrance. I used to feel like this was too manly smelling but I've since changed my mind and interestingly enough what made me change my mind about this fragrance was an Arabian fragrance by Paris Corner called Amber Grand. So I would say if you are hesitant about a more pricey fragrance look to see if you can find a dupe for it specifically a lot of Arabian perfume houses have beautiful dupes Get your hands on a dupe and really try and get acquainted with the scent and that may be all the difference between whether you get it or not. And for me, that's what happened. I picked up Amber Grand, fell in love, and then I went ahead and purchased Grand Soir. Grand Soir is cozy, warm, it's sweet but not too sweet. The amber in here and the labdanum in here are just so addictive and, and so alluring. So it has this alluring vibe. It smells like something you wear at night, but honestly, I can wear this any time of day as long as I'm inside and we have the AC. This is just so, so good. It just makes me feel cozy, enveloped. It's so luxe. It adds a little bit of luxe to my everyday routine. And I've just been obsessed with this. It is so good. If you just want a fragrance that makes you feel all the luxe vibes, makes you feel ultra luxurious, I would highly recommend checking this out or at least checking out Amber Grand by Paris Corner and I will link both down below. This is Grand Soir by MFK. So this next one is is a dupe and it is from Paris Corner. This is a dupe of Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli 64 by Kayali and this is Paris Corner's December Vanilla. So if you've smelled Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli then you have pretty much an idea of what this smells like. I would say this is like 93% similar. The only difference between the two is I would say that this one is a lighter version so it's less potent and for me when I first picked up Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli 64 I just felt like it was so strong so potent to the point that I could not enjoy the beautiful notes and this one this dupe allows me to actually enjoy those beautiful notes and this is an instance where I would say I enjoy the dupe more than I do the original however recently I was chatting with some of my subbies in the comments and one of you was curious about this and whether it's blind by safe another one of you said it's not blind by safe and I totally agree I think the scent overall whether you go with this one or Kayali is not a blind by safe scent because it does have very heavy potent notes so I would say if you can get your nose on this or the original do that first but this is a fragrance that I have really been enjoying this is another one that is nighttime appropriate this is date night this is stepping out to go to a very fancy dinner. You could wear this to a gala. I feel like any time of year, this would be a great evening fragrance. Now during the colder months, which some of you are still going to be experiencing up until like April, this is perfect. This is beautiful. So if you live in a colder climate and you can get your hands on this and you're familiar with the DNA, I would say get your hands on it so that you can truly enjoy it. But for me, this is one that I've been reaching for in the evenings because it's cooler in the evenings obviously I live in a very hot and humid climate so I don't see myself wearing this during the daytime anymore because it's starting to warm up now but in the evenings when I'm at home if I'm going out at night this is definitely one that I will be reaching for this one has this creme brulee vibe to it similar to escapade gourmand but this one has an added rum note, I believe. It's like a warm, spicy, balsamic, creme brulee type of scent spiked with rum. So I think that's what makes this one so alluring and intriguing is it has a spice to it, which makes it a little bit more spicy, makes it more interesting. And that's what I love about this one. It's just a little bit more interesting. It doesn't quite take you on a journey, but the notes in here, I do have a good time just kind of experiencing all the different notes in here. So yes, this is another one that I have been absolutely obsessed with. This is December Vanilla by Paris Corner. 
And last but not least is one that I did not think I would be so in love with and it really truly caught me by surprise and that is Rifa Kat by Paris Corner. So another dupe and this one is a dupe for YSL's Baby Cat. So initially when I looked at the notes for this one, I wasn't sure about it because I don't like a pepper note in my fragrance. Certainly not one that persists throughout the wear, but the pepper in this one does not last for the entire wear, so do not be afraid of that pepper note. One of my subbies commented that they missed out on this because they were kind of nervous about the pepper note, and I totally get you because I felt the exact same way. But I said, you know what, let me just go ahead and try it. I was curious about all the hype surrounding YSL's baby cat and so I said you know what it can't hurt to just pick this one up and see what the hype is about because it was so affordable. So I did and y'all this is probably one of my top favorite vanilla fragrances. This has worked its way to the top of my vanilla scents. This has made me want to track down YSL's baby cat. However, I have been enjoying this dupe. It's just fine for me. So this is a backup bottle worthy fragrance for me, just in case <laughs> it doesn't come back for some reason. And that's in lieu of getting YSL's baby cat, although I still want to smell that one day. Um, this is so creamy. It's a beautiful, creamy, silky vanilla fragrance. It has like this amber essence. If you could imagine this golden vanillic amber concoction, that's what this is. The color of the juice represents the scent. And this has gotten a little bit darker now that I think about it since I've gotten it. So this has notes of Elemi, pink pepper, and that black pepper at the top, the Elemi, I feel like is a very beautiful resinous note. This has saffron and olibanum, although the saffron is not a very prominent note, but I do detect that beautiful olibanum. It adds to the resinous feel in this fragrance. And then this has a cedar wood. There's a touch of wood in here, but it's not like a, a super heavy wood, which I love. I realized that I really love cedar wood. I love the effect that it gives fragrances. And then of course the vanilla at the base of this. This is just so classy. This is again another fragrance that you could wear to a very special occasion. Although this is more suited for nighttime, this is one that I wear all the time because I love it so, so much. And you'll probably notice that I wear my fragrances whenever I feel like wearing them because fragrance just makes me smile. However, this is one that is one of those stepping out evening fragrances. This is Rifa Cat by Paris Corner. All right, friend, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're still here, thank you for still being here. If you enjoyed this video and if it was helpful to you, don't forget to give it a like on your way out. And also, if you enjoy fragrance content, I make quite a bit of it on this channel. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can join the family and turn on those notifications so you never miss another video. So today, before you click off, I just want you to remember that you are worthy. Keep letting your light shine. Keep being your truest and most unique self because that is what the world needs. It needs you in your truest form. I will be over here doing the exact same thing thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one very soon bye